This house on Transit Circle is another original beauty transformed by us. This is flip number 10 and our first time purchasing a home without both of us looking at it. This home has a gorgeous layout with three bedrooms, two baths, and 1,697 square feet and high ceilings in the living room. But it had a major pitfall. The owner smoked in this house for 40 years and it showed. The tar from the nicotine bleached the walls like a coat of brown paint, not to mention the strong smell and oils that stuck to clothing and hair. Not to worry, because we have advanced remediation techniques to, to deal with these kinds of issues. The only problem we saw immediately was well, there were too many walls. We've said it once before, and we will say it again. It can be solved with money. It's not a problem. Walking in, you can already feel a flashback to 1984. That's around the time that this home was built. A dining area. Oh, look at this beautiful backyard. So in the dining area, you walk through here into the kitchen again. So this is the living room. This is the kitchen. And you can see this, the original cabinetry with these large headers and the whole kitchen is salmon pink. That's extremely impressive and charming. I think we should consider keeping that. So really nice. The thing that we have on our side here, they have these brand new double pane vinyl windows. We already have an inside laundry room, which is actually pretty unique for this area. Most of them have laundry rooms in the garage. On the right here, we have a nice linen closet. And, ooh, that's a very nice size master bedroom. Again, with the nice vinyl windows everywhere. And the master bath, we have never seen this too often, is carpet in the bathroom. That's charming. We have his and her closets. And of course, this gorgeous wallpaper. Another closet in here with carpet inside. And there I am, hi. Double sink, which is really nice. And a separate room for the bathroom. Let's check out the other bedrooms. We have a nice super blue room here. Good size. Even the popcorn ceiling's blue. That's impressive. Then we have a secondary bathroom in here with a single vanity. Actually, that's a quite, quite a nice size. And finally, the third bedroom. And that's a, actually, that's a pretty mauve color with a very nice, large walk-in closet. Overall, I think James did a pretty good job of shopping for this house by himself. I wasn't able to see it, but he did all the decision-making decision here and I am impressed. Good job, baby. We got these awesome cabinets from Cabinet IQ. They're the smart choice for cabinets and countertops. We then proceed to take down the walls and reframe the new open space to be structurally sound. We used 16 inch LVL beams to hold everything up and kept a single column so that we could run the mechanicals in the post. Meanwhile, Viv thoughtfully designed the kitchen by hand, chose all the finishes and took a chance at a modern shower design using a dark and moody tile. We refinished the exterior color with Sherman Williams Snowbound and used a warm and taupey gray on the inside with agreeable gray by Sherman Williams. Most, if not all the fixtures are from Amazon. Check the description for the links. I love how this project turned out. European white oak floors, modern fixtures, the two-tone kitchen and clean and sleek bathrooms really came together. To date, it's definitely one of my favorite projects.